Hi everyone, Becca here again with another Zoom Notes tutorial. This time I wanted to do a brief overview of how fonts work in Zoom Notes. Uh, it's important to notice one distinction. You do not install fonts into Zoom Notes. Zoom Notes actually just utilizes any of the system fonts that you have installed on your iPad. So in order to get them to show up, you need to make sure that you get them installed on your iPad. In, in uh, Good Notes, you can use fonts, but it has a very small subset of fonts that it lets you choose from. You cannot add any of your own custom fonts. So it's one of the features I was really most excited about and why I kept going back to Zoom Notes and wanting to learn a little bit more about it and actually switch over to it next year. So I do some of my layouts like this where I have the, the Boho Berry font that I purchased that I like to use. And, you know, come next month, if I want to change a category around, I can't just easily tap on these boxes. Because the way I get them into Good Notes is by using a third-party app, typing out what I want, copying and pasting, and now they're just essentially images that I can pick up with my lasso tool and uh, move around. So if I ever want to change it, I have to delete it from here, go back to the other app, find the right font settings that I use, retype it, import it back over here. So it's just uh, a step that I'm happy to get rid of if I stick with Zoom Notes. Um, in order to install fonts onto your iPad, you're going to want to use an app called AnyFont which is this uh, green square here in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you open that up, you'll see I've installed um, a handful of fonts on my iPad so far. Um, so you can always just see them here and you can delete them. But actually I, I download, oops, the last one I did. I download all of my fonts. Um, I purchased some of them from Etsy. I've gotten them from Boho Berry. I download them from free websites and I save them all into my iCloud drive into this folder called fonts. And so these are a lot of the ones that I've already installed. Um, I have this whole folder full of Disney ones. Um, so there are probably definitely some in here that I have not um, installed. I'm not sure what they are. I have not installed them on my iPad yet, but we can just pick, and we'll pick this uh, Tangled one. So you wanna tap on it wherever you installed it and it'll open up this window. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see this box with the arrow. You can tap on it. And if you scroll over here, depending on how many apps you have, you'll find one that says copy to any font. You'll want to tap on that. And after you do, uh, this one was called Tangled. Yep, Tangled down here. So it'll show up in your list, but it's not installed yet. Uh, this is just showing you that you brought it into any font. You want to go ahead and tap on the word Tangled. You can see a preview of what that font looks like. Hit close. And then you want to tap this big center icon here and say allow and it will take you to this uh, iPad installer and you'll want to hit install in the upper right hand corner and then you're going to want to type in your passcode and then you'll go onto this screen and hit next and it's everyone that I've clicked on says the profile is not signed so don't worry about that and hit install and install and then after that you'll hit done. It'll take you back here. If you want to go back to any font, you can say open. And it's now, it doesn't look any different here, but it's now installed. And so if I go back to Zoom Notes, actually I should probably close it. I forgot, normally when I do my font installs, I keep Zoom Notes closed. Um, I've noticed when it's open, sometimes the new fonts don't show up until I close it and reopen it. So I'll go ahead and close it, open it back up, go back here into my tester planner and then up here oops, up here in the top right here my a is my text tool you can tap on that tap on the screen get your text box and i should now have a font in here called tangled yep there it is hit tangled and uh then i can start typing move it around, resize my box. As always, you can tap and hold with your finger until you get this uh, pop-up box. You can hit select all. I could go back and I could make changes to it. I could change its size. Oop, there we go. It's a little big. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then now my box is way too big, so I would just resize it. And there you go. And then after you tap off it, you can put it wherever it would go. And then anytime you would want to change it, you can just double tap on it with your pen. 
and I can change the text again. And then after I get this created, if I decide, you know, I like everything about this, I like this font with this size, with this color, and I'm going to use it throughout my planner um, while it's highlighted over here on the bottom left. Let's see, we'll switch to this real quick. Over here on the bottom left is where the uh, pre-save settings are that I like. So when you're on your text tool, close that, close that. When you're on your text tool, you can tap the cogwheel over here, and these are the ones that I already have saved. Uh, you can go ahead and hit add, and now it'll do uh, a pre-saved configuration with that font, that color, that size. And anytime I want to go to my text tool, I can tap on it and it will immediately type in one of those saved fonts that I have. Um, so that's it for fonts and I hope this was helpful.